Okay. So the focus of this lesson is speaking skills. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to it's not like public speaking. It's just like regular speaking. Um, and like something that's kind of unique about speaking versus like reading or writing um, when you're developing language skills is that you only get like one shot at it. You can't like erase or revise what you say. Like you can say like, oh, I meant to say this, but basically it's pretty much whatever you s comes out is what you said. Um, so I'm gonna have you guys do a couple activities um, that involves speaking and developing our speaking skills. So the first activity I'm going to have you do, actually, you're not going to be allowed to speak to see how important that would be. Um, so I'm going to have you guys put yourselves in order of when your birthday is. So like January 1st and then December last. Um, but you're not allowed to speak to each other. So then I'm going to do... do, do, do time you guys to see how fast you do it. Okay, starting now. Okay, Ooh, that was pretty good. It took you guys 35 seconds. Um, so how do you feel about that without talking? Was it easy, was it hard? It's hard, I know she has the same birthday month as me, so. Wait, what, when's yours? February 5th. When's yours? Oh crap, wait, should we swap? Yeah, when's yours? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yours is February 5th, yours is? Me. Maybe it was hard. May 8th. Okay, so you guys should be switched, but still, uh, you're in between them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, November. November. yeah. Okay, so yeah, that is kind of hard, right? If you can't speak to each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have you guys do it again, except instead of using your birthday, just think of like one of your siblings, like their birthday. So just whatever, one. make sure mm -hmm. you're like thinking of the same sibling the whole time. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys all got your, your birth date. And we can't talk this time? Yeah, you can't talk this time. No. So, okay, you can start now. Okay. April, June 25th. <gasps> August, what's yours? We can't talk. You can. Oh, August, August 30th. Oh, 15th. Perfect. Okay. That took you guys 13 seconds. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so yours was? April 14th. April 14th? June 25th. June 25th. August 15th. August 15th. August 15th. August. Okay, that was like so much easier, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's how like it makes a pretty di big difference when you guys all can speak the same language, when you all know what's going on and can use those language skills. Uh, how did you guys feel about the second time around? It was a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> Just <Sorry>. one word. <laughs> yeah, for <sure>. April. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. So now we're going to play another game. Um, and this is a, um, like a spot the difference game. So there's like two pictures that are super similar, but they have little differences. And, um, and these are like really easy. They're like for elementary school kids, but in each picture, there's about 10 differences and each of you will have one. So like Kaylee and Shaylee, you guys will be a team. Um, and like Kaylee and Shaylee. So Kaylee, you'll have like this one, and Shaylee, you'll have this one, and you have to describe your pictures to each other um, without seeing the other person's picture and find what your differences are. Oh, okay. okay, so just based on the description. So you have to be pretty specific, but they're not like super minuscule details either. They're, they're pretty obvious. No so <laughs> I'm going to give you guys these. And you guys so okay. we have Describe it. Yeah, so you have to describe the picture so to each other okay. and find out what the okay. differences are. So, so like if it were so if there were pictures of like a beach and they were like basically yeah. the same picture but you have like a dolphin yeah, jumping out and she has a shark jumping up, like and yeah. A rooster. Underneath the sign, there's a 
Where she found the four mm -hmm. little chicks. And I heard she's always trying to make a tree. But I don't know if I I just said yeah. chicks. And then I saw them. Okay. Um, there's a little girl with a bucket and a lamb. And there's a tree in front of the barn. It looks like a boy. The lamb's a barn has a little skirt on it. Okay, it's a boy. Okay. Then mm -hmm. there's underneath the tree here's a There's three uh, pigs. Chicken yeah. with four legs. Yep. Uh, and okay, so one, and I don't have and two chicken four and ducks. chicks. So okay. Three ducks. So one group. Okay. Then there's a boy um, with a bucket. Is there a cow in here? Yeah, the little boy has a sheep behind him. Okay, okay. And he's holding a bucket. And then right there in front of the Does, you have a cow. Yeah, it's over in the hand. It's behind the cow. Pig with two yeah. little baby pigs. Uh -huh. um, and um, do you we have a tree? Do. I don't even know. Two, um, I'm going to say <coughs> peas. Mm -hmm. And three so, so that we have. <laughs> there are four in my hand. You have more oh, okay. so in the pond. And you have a chicken. You don't have a chicken. Does, no. does your boy have a striped shirt? Yours is a girl. Actually, mine's is a girl. Or a boy. Oh, so and she I don't have a Oh, you don't. Okay, so okay. it's okay. so five. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many good fences are there? There's ten. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so there's a little well, spilled. Um, mine three has three. Them. Yours has four. Where? Okay, snings. Mine has zero. Okay. I don't know. Wait, it's a girl versus I don't know. You don't just by the I don't fence. Have a is it like three little spots? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay. You have um, um, the two full-grown geese. Do you have a you grass bee the on the fence that's going yes. diagonal? Um, yes. Diagonal. Yeah. How's your barn yes. door? Is it diagonal? Yeah, it's going um, diagonal, but it stops. Um, and there's yeah. one like a vertical pillar that open doesn't have the diagonal piece of wood going on. Barn door? Or closed? Closed. Okay, mine's open, open, I think. Oh. Mine has. <laughs> yeah, mine's it's open. The same. Does your barn have okay. a window for it? Yes. Yeah. Underneath the okay. window of the barn, do you have dots on the barn? Yeah. Okay, so. Does the tree. Is there a little grass by the tree? On it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Is there like lines like of the yeah. wood? Do you have grass by the on your tree? Yes. Okay. No. Just barren. Is the Weird. sun rising over the hill two hills? What direction mm -hmm. is the cow looking? And is there like grass in front of the it's hill? Like like towards the little girl. So what the direction is the rooster looking? On towards the little girl. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think my cow, like you can't see the leg. Yeah. Three. Okay. Is that four? No. Is yours? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have two hills that the sun is rising over? Yeah. No. Two hills. Okay. And um, there's like you said you had two piglets, like, right? Yes. Two piglets near the grass okay. in front of the um, the oh, little cow fence. Yeah. Look like rocks. Mm -hmm. Do you have two rocks? How does your bucket look? Yeah, and a sheep. Yeah, it's just white. Okay. Um, is there? I don't know what what shirt is the little girl wearing. She's wearing like a little apron with lace on the edges. Like, what's her hair look like? It's curly. Wait, is it short and white? Yeah. Are the two little pigs like in front of the? Yeah, like in front. What of shoes her. is she wearing? No shoes. Um, <laughs> okay, mine has shoes on, so maybe the outfit. Okay. Outfit the what shoes about? Um, is okay. there a hill outfit behind the so barn? Seven. Yeah. Okay. Is there um, five little chicks showing underneath? Four. Okay, mine has five. I have four. Um, and mine doesn't. Does that count as eight, or my chicken just turned into a chick? <laughs> that counts as a okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about your sheep? Is it just got like two legs showing? Okay, I'm gonna stop you guys there. Okay. So how eight. many differences were you guys able to find? Eight. Eight. And you guys? Five. Five. Okay. So how do you feel about this activity? Good. I mean, it was harder as it went on, like, and then we realized that, like, the difference wasn't that she was a girl or a boy, oh. it was that the clothing and no shoes. Yeah. Oh, I'm tired. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it just showed, like, how descriptive we were in yeah. conversation. Yeah. <laughs> So definitely your your speaking skills that you had to be really specific in what you were saying. Really detailed. Oh, see, yeah, look at that. 
Yeah, so some of the differences yeah. were like the barn door was open in one, the sun was risen oh, in okay. one. The goose was, so we didn't get, and then the goose was facing a different way, and I guess that's it. Right, there's one other though. Yeah. So comparing it to the first activity oh, that we did, because first you couldn't answer. speak in the activity and then you could speak. Uh -huh. How how do you think you would do if you weren't able to speak or if you guys weren't able to speak the same language with this activity? Um, I think we would have gone nowhere. <laughs> just gone in circles. Yeah. yeah, we would have just been staring at each other. Like, <laughs> it would have been really like difficult. Like chicken pee. Yeah, a lot of signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So speaking is like a really important skill because it can make things a lot easier for us as well. Um, so it is it's super important, especially if you're like learning a new language or you're in a country where you don't speak the language that everyone else speaks. It's it's a lot harder to get around than if you're just like in Rexburg, Idaho, and everyone speaks English basically. Yeah, so it's definitely an important skill. Thank you guys for doing this activity. <laughs> Thank you, teacher.